Hi guys, welcome back to Channel Codeboard. In one of my earlier videos, I developed a collaborative whiteboard application. I used React and Node for developing the application. Today, we will enhance the functionalities of that. We will resume coding, where we had left, in our last video. But, before starting new coding, let's just go over what we have done, till now. In the project, we have two main folders. One is server, and another one is UI. Correct? Inside the UI folder, we kept the React application. In our React application, we have two components. Container, and board. We have our JSX files, inside the individual component folders. Now, if I open board.jsx file, we have the coding, for drawing on canvas. We developed the canvas sync code, in board.jsx file. And, that was the last development, in our previous video. In container.jsx file, we have included, the board component. Now, we have server-side node.js code, in server.js file. Where we developed, the socket IO connection, for communicating between two clients. This was our final result. If any user will draw something in the board, that will be reflected to all other connected users, in real time. We are syncing canvas image data, across all connected users, using WebSocket protocol. But, now we don't have facilities, like changing brush color, brush size, etc. Also, in current stage, if multiple users will draw at a time, all users' data except one, will become overridden. Today we will fix all these. So, let's start with, the second part of our development. Before starting the development, let me request you, please subscribe to my channel Codeboard. Your subscription, likes, and comments, motivate me to create many such interesting videos, for all of you. First, let's fix the UI look and feel a little bit. So, let's open style.css file, for container component. And, remove the black color, from background. Also, let's add a colorful gradient, in the container background. And now, the updated output is much brighter, and it looks better to me. Next, at the top section, I will add a dropdown, to select the brush size. So, let's go to VS Code, and open container.jsx file. As you can see, currently we have only input type color. We will add a dropdown here. Let's first define a wrapper div, for all the tools. So, let's write div class, tools section. Like, we have color picket container, let's add brush size container also. In the color picket container, we will add a label, select brush color. Similarly, we will add a label, select brush size, inside brush size container. Now, for the brush size, we will add a drop down. Let's define, 6 different sizes of brush for now. 5 to 30. And, we are done with HTML part. Inside the constructor, let's define the state object. For now, we will keep two properties, inside the state object. First one is color, and default value is black. The second property will be size. Where we will keep, the default value is 5. Now, we have to bind the state object's properties, with color picker input, and brush size dropdown. So, for the input type color, let's add value equals to, this.state.color. And, for the dropdown also, we will add value as, this.state.size. Now, for both of these inputs, we will add, onChange method. For input type color, let's add onChange equals to, this.changeColor.bind. Similarly, for brush size dropdown, we will add, on change handler as, this dot change size, dot bind. We now have to define, the change color, and change size methods. So, now let's define two methods in the class, change color, and change size. In the change color method, we will set the state property color, using set state method. The change color method takes a parameter. Let's define that as params. And, the color properties updated value will be, params.target.value. The change size method's body, will also be same. We just have to change the color, to size. Correct? Now, we have to pass the, color and size values, to the board component. So, let's add two attributes, with the board tag. Color, equals to, this.state.color. And, size, equals to, 
This dot state dot size. Let's check the result now in the browser. As you can see, the top section styling is messed up. Right? Let's fix this. So, let's go to the style.css file for container component. Let me change the styling for color picker container first. I am making the display in line to make it alongside with size drop down. Now, let's add styling for brush size container. Again, I have to make this div in line. And finally, let's make the tools containers text alignment as center. So, the final result becomes like this. We will now proceed with board.jsx files coding. In board component, we will receive the color and the size of the brush. Accordingly, we will adjust canvas drawing. So, let's go to VS Code and open board.jsx file. First, I will declare a class level variable named ctx. Now, inside the draw on canvas method, let's change the var ctx to this.ctx. So, now the ctx variable will be accessible from anywhere in the class. But, I have to change all ctx variables to this.ctx. Because, ctx becomes class variable now. To avoid this, let's just define var ctx equals to this.ctx. Now, in the container component, whenever we will select any color or brush size, those will be reflected in board tags attributes. But, we have to also receive those updated values inside board component. To receive those updated properties, we have a hook method for React components. That is, component will receive props, which will take new properties as argument. Now, we will set the canvas contexts, stroke style, and line width as per new properties color and brush size. This will make sure that whenever we will change color or brush size in container component, those will be reflected to board components drawing. In the draw on canvas function, we have our line width and stroke style are hard coded now. So, just change it as per property values. So, the line width will be this.props.size. And stroke style will be this.props.color. Let's test it now. So, let me go to the browser. And, by default the drawing color is black. If I change the color, color change is reflecting perfectly. Correct? Let's change brush size now. And, that is also working pretty well. Now, we will fix the race condition issue for multiple users drawing at a time. Let's go to coding once again. And, inside the constructor, we are drawing image on the canvas while we receive image data from other users. Now, the problem is, if multiple users are drawing at a time, all those drawing data will try to draw on the canvas, which will eventually create race condition. This might lead to an unexpected result. To solve this, we have to ensure only single drawing should take place at any specific time instance. To fix this, I will define a class level flag variable is drawing. I will initialize it as false. Now, I will keep all the drawing codes inside set interval. And, I will check if his drawing flag is true. If it is true, that means another drawing is going on and process has to wait until it becomes false again. And then before drawing start, I will make his drawing flag to true. Also, destroy the set interval. And at the very end of drawing, just change it to false once again. Okay, I misspelled the set interval. And now it's good. And working as expected. So, we have added few advanced functionalities today. We can add few other features also, like creating a room, voice call etc. Please let me know, in comment section, if you want me, to create another video on those features. Also, please don't forget to support me, subscribing to Channel Code Board. Help me to reach 1000 subscribers. Bye for today.